Hey Travis. Hey Kiara. What you doing? We are hygienic testing our metro line in Queens down in Stillwater, Minnesota. It's uh, April 29th, 2016. We're on our fourth hive, or third hive right now. This is a, a brood freeze test where we freeze the brood with liquid nitrogen. Let's get some liquid nitrogen going in there right now. We count the amount of cells that are open before we pour the liquid nitrogen into it. So we have more accurate results. This one had five cells open. We want to wear leather gloves when we're doing this because liquid nitrogen is obviously very, very cold and we don't want to uh, have any frostbit skin. So this is a, a 12 ounce coffee cup inside of another 12 ounce coffee cup inside of a 20 ounce coffee cup. But you need at least 10 ounces going into the three inch PVC pipe to adequately freeze all the brood. We initially just pour in a little bit. Gotta get the freezing process started. The sun here. This one over here, we're still waiting for it to thaw so that we can pull the PVC pipe out without tearing up all the brood next to it. So once all that has boiled off, now we'll pour the, pour the rest of the liquid nitrogen in there. I think this is a very important test when raising queens, hygienic behavior. Um, we think is really crucial um, in having a healthy hive, having healthy apiary, and propagating favorable genetics. It takes about five minutes for this process to be completed. After oh. which we will take off the PVC pipe and place the frame back into the hive. Then in 24 hours we'll come back and we will we will count the cells that have been cleaned out and uh, we'll record those numbers. We'll put the frame back in. We'll come back again in 48 hours and uh, check it again and uh, see if they've made, they've potentially already cleaned out 100% of it in 24 hours. Um, but sometimes it might take 48 hours to do that. And we record all those numbers, and we repeat this test again in a few days. We wanted to breed from hives that can clean out this dead larva. Hygienic, it's uh, anything over 90% after 48 hours is con considered hygienic. We do the test twice to have accurate results. So the hives are just looking beautiful right now. They're actually, it's kind of the first warm day after we've had a spell of really kind of cold, rainy days. We were teased with a real early spring here that uh, really shifted back to chilly weather. And uh, the bees haven't had much forage. They've had pollen coming in when they can fly, but there's definitely been no nectar for at least a, a week or so. There was a trickle about a week and a half, two weeks ago. I think today they're bringing in a little dandelion, which is nice. 
We got lots of pollen, but luckily our hives are heavy coming out of winter, so they're all doing really well right now.